Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play GameCube games on both Mac and Windows computers. I'll also be showing you where to download them, how to install them, how to play using a real controller, and how to install the emulator itself and get it up to 100% operating power. Alright, so I'm going to start off with actually downloading the emulator which runs the games. Uh, this works on both Mac and Windows computers, but I'm downloading this on my Windows because way more people have Windows than Macs. Uh, but don't worry, I'll get to my Mac later in the video. So the name of the emulator is Dolphin. It's the first link in the description. Uh, I'm downloading the 64-bit version because I have a 64-bit computer. If you have a 32-bit computer, then the 64-bit version will not work. So download the 64-bit version, and if that doesn't work, then download the 32-bit version. Anyway, so what you're going to do is click the download button right here. Uh, we're going to save it to our desktop, but really you can save it anywhere. Uh, note it says WinRAR because that is my file extracting software. If you don't have WinRAR or another file extractor, then I made a video on it right over here. Uh, it's completely virus free and it costs nothing, so it's pretty great. Uh, so anyway, now we're going to double click the file you just downloaded on your desktop and then click dolphin.exe and it should open up the program. Alright, so now that you've downloaded Dolphin, you can make a desktop icon, and that's pretty much it. But make sure you put the WinRAR file somewhere safe, because without those files, Dolphin will not run. Anyway, now I'm going to do the rest of the setup on my Mac computer to show both Windows and Mac users how to download games. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to download games and actually play them. However, keep this in mind, it is technically illegal to download these games if you don't own them in real life. But since you guys are a bunch of internet pirates, you're probably going to do it anyway. Uh, I personally have all the games I've downloaded, they're in this like, big CD container, except I can't actually play them because in a fit of total stupidity, I sold my GameCube when I was 12. Anyway, just a tip, the games that you download must be in ISO or GCM format, after you extracted them. Uh, we'll talk about this later once we download a game. Okay, so we're going to download Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess since I had it and I never beat it because I spent like 30 hours just in the Water Temple alone. Uh, the website I'm on is CoolRom.com. The link is in the description. Uh, this is probably the only website I found that is virus free, but just to be safe, I would have some virus protection software unless you have a Mac, in which case you really don't get that many viruses anyway. But now we're just going to click the download button, and now it's going to take about half an hour to download. So we'll just wait while it does, but in the meantime, make sure you have WinRAR or the Unarchiver, because it is in a 7-zip format, and you can only extract the game files with those softwares, unless you bought a file extracting software like 7-zip. Alright, so it's downloaded. Now what we're going to do is drag it to our desktop and double-click the file. Uh, this should open the Unarchiver or WinRAR if uh, you're on Windows, and now it's extracting the ISO. So just wait about 10 minutes for it to decompress. Um, if you don't have the Unarchiver or WinRAR, then I suggest checking out my previous video. Okay, so it's been extracted, and now what we're going to do is go into the new folder, uh, we're going to drag out the file we want, which is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess .iso, and we're going to put that on our desktop. Now pay attention, the only file we want is the .iso, or in your case, it could be a .gmc. Uh, what we're going to do is delete the zip file and the folder. All we want left is the .iso. This is very important, so make sure you do that. Now, uh, here's just a little tip on how to make your desktop icons look really cool. I'm not going to go too in-depth on it because it's only for Mac, uh, but I know a lot of you have been asking me how to do it. Uh, just follow everything that I do right now, and that's pretty much how you get like really cool-looking icons. The only reason why I have it is so that I know which games I have by glancing at my desktop, and I don't really have to read anything or just scroll through all the games on Dolphin. Now what we're going to do is open up Dolphin, and as you can see I have Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess already loaded into Dolphin, however if it didn't load automatically then just do open, go to wherever you saved it, and click the .iso. Uh, just to show you it works the same way, you can just double click the icon on the Dolphin menu and the game starts. Uh, also on the bottom left of the screen it says VPS, FPS, and Speed. Now regardless of the game, you want the speed very close to 100%. 
Uh, now, the VPS and FPS vary depending on whether you live in the U.S. or not. Uh, but if you do live in the U.S., then the VPS and FPS should be around 60. If you live in the U.K., Australia, etc., it's your range at about 30. Uh, it only slow, it's only slow for me because I'm recording. Um, also, FPS is frames per second, and VPS has to do with sound. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my configuration of Dolphin, so click the config button. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything because it takes a while, but basically this is how Dolphin compiles the games on your computer. Uh, my configuration looks like this to get me pretty decent speeds on my Mac computer. Now keep in mind, my Mac doesn't have the best graphics card or audio system, so I would highly suggest looking at the Dolphin Wiki for different games for the optimal config for your computer. You'll understand if you click the third link in the description. Um, I also left some links to videos in the description that talk about the configuration, so check those out. Anyway, now we're going to go over the GameCube controller settings. I personally don't use the Wii option because I don't own any Wiimotes or Wii games, so technically it would be illegal for me to demonstrate a Wii game in this video. Anyway, so with that in mind, the GameCube games can use an Xbox controller to play them. However, this Xbox controller must be made by the official Microsoft company, so it can't be one of those knockoffs from GameStop or something like that. Um, I got mine from Amazon.com. Also, very, very important, it must be a wired controller, meaning it must plug into the Xbox because those are the only controllers with USB cables. So it can't be a wireless controller. That will not work. Anyway, so I plugged in my Xbox controller into my computer, and if Dolphin doesn't recognize it, then just click the down arrow next to where it says input-0 dash dash controller on my screen. It will probably say something else like keyboard for yours, but just click the down arrow next to it and a menu should pop up and one of the options should be controller if you have your controller plugged in. I'm not going to do that because I already hooked up my controller. Um, also, keep in mind that you can use a keyboard, for, but controllers are like way easier. And if you have a generic PC compatible controller, like a regular gaming controller, then that will work too. Now, to set up the controller, what you're going to do is click the box where it says A on the computer. Um, then what you're going to do is press the A button on your actual controller, and then just repeat the process for every single button. And this also applies to joysticks. Now, I'd like to show you every controller button, but that would be annoyingly time-consuming for you guys, and I'm pretty sure you don't need me to show you how to set up every single button. Uh, just keep in mind that you can leave mic L analog, R analog, and motor all blank. You sort of need to do that since they're not actually buttons. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you like playing on your new virtual GameCube. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Beat time.